Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's tangle is Andromeda by Lily Moon. And I did it on a couple of little tiny bookmarks and I'm going to do it on one of the newer bookmarks that are in my store. They have rounded corners and I, I love them. My other bookmarks did not have rounded corners and these are gorgeous. So we're just going to get started with Andromeda. And when I was doing it in class, we asked a few questions about which way is easiest to draw a teardrop. And for me, I'm going to start at the bottom of my bookmark, and we're going to work our way up. And I'm going to do a kind of a little raindrop teardrop. And I I make the same one, same shape, and it kind of nestles off of the one prior. So it half, about halfway up you draw and I kind of go back and forth. And as you draw tangles you want to figure out what's the easiest for you. Everyone will write or draw them just a little bit different. And so you have to kind of say, if, if it doesn't feel comfortable for you drawing a tangle going uh, one way, then you want to think, okay, can I switch it around and try drawing in another way? So I have them alternating up this bookmark. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put on, on the um, left side, this one is going to be another little petal. Then I'm going to come back and on the right side, I'm going to do that one and it kind of goes back in to where it started. And I kind of rotate my tile just a little bit so I can have that in the right position for me to draw it back and forth. And you can see it's kind of it kind of has a little heart look at this point. And there we've gone all the way up. So they kind of look like little hearts. Now we're going to come, we're going to go on the inside and we're going to do a little holly bar. So it's going to come and then come back down. So it holly bars underneath. And it comes back down with that one. So I want to draw it enough that it can come back down underneath. And I just rotate back and forth, repeating this shape. First on the left side, then the right side. And now we have it all the way down. Now you can embellish this. This this one I just put one little line going up the center. And I gave it a little bit of a curve. Because when you give it that curve, that that kind of enhances your tangle and and starts to give it that so it has movement. Now you can go back and put a little um, circle on the top. This one, I let me come in a little so you can see. You can see I did a little a little tiny circle and then more dots on the top. This one I just put a couple of dots above and I like how that looked. So I just put some light little dots above. But what I found is it just didn't feel really complete. It didn't feel really complete. It needed something. And Maria always says, if things don't feel right, 
Ora. So I ORAed on that little bookmark. And it just really completed that. And sometimes you can put double auras. And um, the shading will help a lot too. I'm going to come back in and put my little dots above here. But you can see how that really made a difference. Now I can, I'm going to take a pink, one of my pink color pencils, and I'm going to just do a little shading with pink. And I could blend this with odorless paint thinner. I do have some odorless paint thinner. So I'm just going to dip my shading, my blending stump in that and then blend. My pink color pencil, it just blends it very easily. You can just shade it with your color pencil, but I find that this just is a quick way to blend that color pencil out and give it a little bit of color. Also, I like to kind of use, um, let's see if my, um, even a little graphite. I'm going to put it in that little leaf behind or that other little part behind because there's not very much drama on this tangle. And I'm usually one that I'll say, oh, I need some black, I need some drama. So we'll put a little bit of graphite here. And I I'll have to use this other end of my shading stem. And I'm just going to blend that graphite and the pink together to give it some drama here. You can see how that's really helping, you know, make it a, a great looking tangle. And it still seems a little bit plain to me. So I may um, do a double aura, or maybe I'll just put a background. I'm just going to grid off behind on a diagonal. So I just put a grid. Now I'm going to come back the other direction and grid off. And this kind of anchors that tangle down to the bookmark a little bit more. And one of my favorite, favorite tangles to do here is floors with that little diamond shape. So I'm going to add floors to this, meaning, I, but I'm just going to round off those corners of that grid anywhere where I where they cross I'm just going to round them off and put 
put them into here and you can see how that just really anchors that tangle down and finishes it off so it's not floating Sometimes you have to just use your imagination. Oh, where would that, where would that um, little diamond be hiding? And there we have it. Anchored down, great bookmark, lots of fun to do. Andromenus by Lily Moon. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I try to do every Tuesday. This is going to probably be Wednesday before I, I'm filming Tuesday. So by the time I get it edited and uploaded and everything, it will probably be Wednesday morning. But don't forget to subscribe. And I will keep doing videos two times a week. And we'll just see what we have. Great fun with bookmarks that are available on my website with the round corners. And um, also, I have the triangle, the three Z's on my website too. So and they come in five different colors. So you're, um, you can do things on a triangle. They're lots of fun, the, the three Z's. So, thanks again for watching. Don't forget, tangle every day. It's good for your health mentally and physically. And thanks again, and have a great day.